We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, this specific iteration of that line was used in the liturgy a number of years ago, but the priest would pray this between the Lord's Prayer and for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. This prayer evokes a hopeful anticipation, Christ coming to meet us, to be a light in the darkness. And this simple prayer is sandwiched between asking the Lord to provide for us and then surrendering it all back to a God who provides. You know, in so many ways, this has been our prayer and waypoint for Eden Invitation as we've chosen the theme of joyful hope for 2023. You know, as we've grown and doubling our community volunteer team, we expanded our book club offerings and consistent community through our hearth groups, even hosted our largest retreat yet. I wanna share with you a particular way that I experienced hope in the Lord bringing light to the darkness this year. When starting Eden Invitation, Anna and I put ourselves out there without really knowing who would come alongside us in this mission. In order to honor how comfortable community members are with sharing about their LGBT plus experience and just out of respect for one another, we ask all community members to adhere to a strict confidentiality code. So, you know, nobody can know really who's involved. That said, over the years, as community members have grown in their faith, we've also actually seen a desire to bear witness to their life as a faithful Catholic or Christian with an LGBT plus experience. You know, first it began with the courageous few in our porch videos, but this year we actually offered a lanyard designation on our retreat for people to select if they were comfortable with their faces being included in our promotional materials. Over half of our retreat this year, our retreat participants selected this designation and for the first time ever, our end of year mailer and media is filled, not with stock photos, but with photos of our community members. While on retreat, as I looked through the camera lens, capturing each beloved and unrepeatable disciple, I was brought to tears with the honor and privilege it is to introduce these community members to the church and world. What a privilege it is to create a space to receive their whole person, to help grow systems of mutual support for them, and to empower them for creative discipleship. In the current culture of the modern American Catholic Church and world, it takes incredible courage to bear witness to being both faithful to the church and having an LGBT plus experience. Though not all community members have the privilege of being out or open about their experience, there is hope in the church for disciples with an LGBT plus experience to find faithful community. Hope when someone can see one of our posts and say, hey, that's my story too. Hope when someone from our community can receive their story with gentleness and compassion. Hope in knowing they're not alone in fidelity to the church when they show up to their monthly hearth group. Eden Invitation is inspiring a new generation of disciples with LGBT plus experiences to fall in love with God, to find true friendship with one another, and to invite others to come along on that journey to the heart of God. As we continue on in this work, we need your help. This year, we're hoping to raise $50,000 for our end of year campaign to support initiatives like Eden Invitation 101, which will be a print resource overview of our approach to discipleship and a comprehensive look at established church teaching on sexual identity. We're looking to expand our capacity to receive and form by hiring new staff, even beginning pre-production for our new installment of the Porch Series testimony videos and so much more. <laughs> so will you help others with LGBT plus experiences orient their hearts to the horizon line of heaven? Will you consider a year-end gift to Eden Invitation? You and yours are in our prayers, and we wish you a hope-filled Advent and a joyful Christmas. God bless. Thank you.